faculty and staff, families, and the graduates of the class of 2022. It's an honor to join you on this special occasion. To the university administration, if you can somehow pull some strings and get me an honorary doctorate in medicine, my mother would be deeply appreciative. Although still disappointed, I'm not an actual physician. My name is Abdullah Hamoud, and I have the privilege of serving as mayor of my hometown, Dearborn, Michigan. I am also a proud University of Michigan Dearborn graduate. By now, you already know what it means to carry a Michigan degree. It means joining a highly accomplished alumni base you'll soon encounter in every walk of life. Today, however, I want to focus on the hyphenated name of your school, not just the Michigan difference, but the Dearborn difference. As you studied here, all the complexities and challenges of the modern world were playing out right outside your classroom window, whether you knew it or not. And those challenges demand our collective effort. Once the birthplace of innovation rooted in the auto industry, Dearborn continues to face the reality of a post-industrial economy and must reinvent itself for the future. In a region not exactly known for extreme weather, we stared down the nightmare of global climate change when a thousand-year flood devastated the homes of so many of our neighbors. Every day, ordinary people on either side of Evergreen Road battle substance use disorder and addiction, reflecting the long road ahead to treat addiction as a public health issue. And you need not travel far from this campus to see what the other end of a global refugee crisis looks like. This is where many families across the world come to build a life outside the ravages of war and poverty, where they reinvent themselves and thrive. The hyphen Dearborn on your diploma can sometimes feel a little local, as if Dearborn, the seventh largest city in the state and growing, is too small. The reality is, that Ann Arbor has 120,000 residents and not a single one knows how to make a respectable shawarma sandwich. But as you studied here in Dearborn, there was a good chance that the person seated next to you was the first in their family to attend college. You no doubt met someone who spoke another language, who had lived in another part of the world. You got to see so many different journeys and detours towards the American dream and learn better than most what a vibrant, messy, multicultural democracy looks like. The Dearborn difference is exactly that. It's knowing that the hyphen on your degree is an invitation to understand the world through a local lens. Yes, the world contains Dearborn, but Dearborn also contains the world. And so this city offered you a blueprint to construct a well-rounded worldview. While I believe the city is special, the reality is that you can always find universal truths in every local experience. Every struggle and triumph you read about in the news exists right here, no matter where here is. What I wish for you more than anything in this next chapter of your lives is that you see the local as a lens into the universal, that you can root yourself in something larger no matter where you are. Allow me to now leave you with a few pieces of advice. Number one, as you work towards your goals, having faith in yourself will sometimes feel irrational. I was 25 years old when I decided to leave my desk job and run for public office. Politics as a profession is not particularly kind to young people. You have to raise money and convince people twice your age that they should listen to you. When I shared my plans to run for state representative, almost everyone said I was too young, too inexperienced, or hadn't waited my turn. It's easy to believe what other people say about you, but my response was always the same. I'm not asking for permission. I'm asking for support. I encourage you to do the same, because for some of you, especially those pursuing non-traditional careers, that permission may never come. Faith is the raw material to create your own permission when no one else believes in your vision. Number two, everyone is on their own timeline and you shouldn't feel pressure to succeed overnight. This may seem like a contradiction speaking to you as a 32-year-old mayor, but we live in a society that glorifies early achievement more than lasting achievement. If you feel an urgency to do something, by all means do it. But I can tell you driving to Lansing at 26 is no more glamorous than it is at 56. It's the quality of your work that ultimately counts. Your place here today is the result of countless others who propelled you forward through their efforts, sacrifice, and example. And there's simply no substitute for hard work and perseverance, which are not always measured in time. Number three, if you take the entrepreneurial route and happen to open up a sandwich shop in Ann Arbor, and that sandwich shop happens to sell shawarma sandwiches. Do not add hot sauce and cabbage to one of God's finest creations. 
The lesson here is stick to the fundamentals and you will undoubtedly succeed. Finally, number four, you will encounter countless views and arguments in the professional world. But remember that what people respect above all is authenticity. Embrace what you do know and be sincere about what you don't. In a world where image often feels more immediate than substance, where we sometimes engage more with constructed selves online than actual selves in person, being genuinely yourself is a radical act, but it's always the right one. Class of 2022, you made Dearborn your home for the last few years. This place has given you the tools to improve the world for the better, no matter where you choose to take them. Congratulations, and I wish you a bright and healthy future ahead. Go Blue.